Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harris joins me now live from Washington. So, Catherine, what are the Russians saying about Snowden this morning? Well, Martha, the Russian foreign minister telling reporters this morning that the U.S. is on its own, that Edward Snowden and his travel plans are his own concern and not being orchestrated by Russia. We have been reporting since the weekend, based on information from a former senior intelligence official, that Russia might choose not to arrest Snowden, citing the fact that he is in transit, not being formally processed to stay in Russia by immigration and customs. And this morning, Russia's foreign minister used that rationale that Snowden is free to travel as he wishes, he is not formally in Russia, and that the U.S. needs to back off in its public criticism of Moscow. Here he is speaking through a translator. We don't have any relation to Mr. Snowden, nor his relations regarding the American jurisdiction, nor his movements across the world. He independently chose his route, of which we, just like the majority, found out through the means of mass media. He did not cross the Russian border, and we consider absolutely unsupported and inadmissible the attempts to which we see now, the attempts to accuse the Russian side of violating U.S. laws and almost accusing us of participating in a conspiracy. Accusations which are accompanied by threats in our direction, there are no lawful grounds for American officials to act in this way. With Snowden claiming he targeted this job at Booz Allen Hamilton, a former senior intelligence official, told Fox News it's important to consider whether the, this government, uh, specifically China and Russia, have benefited most from Snowden's leaks, Martha? Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, what about what's being done in Congress in light of what we're now learning about Snowden? Well, there's been an important development with senior Democrat Patrick Leahy of the Senate Judiciary Committee. He's now joining lawmakers both in the Senate and the House with legislation to curb Section 215 of the Patriot Act, the so-called business records provision that allowed for the sweeping collection of Americans' phone records. A statement from the senator reads in part, quote, This measure will narrow the scope of Section 215 orders by requiring the government to show both relevance to an authorized investigation and a link to a foreign group or power. The senator says the bill will also provide some kind of oversight, judicial review, and individuals can challenge the collection of their phone records uh, in less than a year's time, which is what it is uh, right now on the orders. If that went through, that could get very interesting. Catherine, thank you. You're welcome.